Hi, I'm Erin Sullivan. I teach at Cap Calloway School of the Arts in Wilmington, Delaware. I'm Michelle Mao, and I'm a rising senior at Cap Calloway School of the Arts located in Wilmington, Delaware. As a teacher, obviously war is part of our curriculum. Um, and every war or conflict that has come up in the curriculum kind of ends with a peace treaty and that's it and we move on to the next topic. And so what intrigued me about this specific, the Vietnam War Legacies and Reconciliation Initiative, was it was an opportunity to consider the long costs of war and what do people, nations, like what do they do after war? How do we heal from it? Is it simply time or are there specific steps that need to be taken? I got to um, help create this curriculum uh, so that students can learn about the War Legacies, Vietnam War Legacies and Reconciliation Initiative. And part of that was me needing to educate myself on that initiative. And so USIP invited me to come down and participate in the dialogue, which I did in October. And when I was here for that dialogue, uh, I met the Two Sides Project. The Two Sides Project introduced me to um, the Peace Homes, which is a part of what they do. And I thought that's something that my students and I could do. The Peace Homes Project was uh, an initiative that really broadened my understanding of the reconciliation projects and initiatives going on right now. Being able to see the pictures, the faces, um, the buildings, behind the family that we were actually supporting because before then it was um, any information that we got was mostly through word of mouth or by email and text so actually seeing the first few images um, really put a face to the project and our contributions to this greater um, initiative. For us as Americans being able to understand the ways in which Vietnamese, ordinary Vietnamese are impacted and continue to be impacted by the legacy of this war, I think is really important. And this is such a tangible way. We were able to meet the Kong family, see uh, their three children, and seeing the way that they lived, and then knowing that we could help. And it didn't take very much. Uh, it, you know, it's relatively inexpensive. I think sometimes youth, um, we go through a lot of things um, on an individual level. And sometimes we might think um, we have no say or there are certain uh, things affecting us or not affecting us that we just might not be interested in or might not uh, think we can do much about. Coming together or working alone, um, we do have a say and we do have our own ideas and um, thoughts that we bring to the table, um, specifically in this project, realizing that me and my peers, uh, my classmates, um, at my school, we were able to draw on a community support and our own understanding of reconciliation that um, we're able to contribute to a larger project.